I would also like to welcome you to the inaugural Pan-African Artificial Intelligence Conference 2022, the first of its kind in Ethiopia. My name is Solomon Kasa and I'll be your host for today. Isn't this museum so beautiful? This is so amazing, right? This is an embodiment of what Ethiopia deserves. This is what Africa deserves. This is also a manifestation of Ethiopia's commitment to the future, to science, technology, and innovation. This is not just a building with beautiful design, but this will be a place where we can see the past, the present, and the future of human civilization. A place where we grow together as a community through collective engagement. This is a home for the next generation of Ethiopian innovators and scientists where they get their motivation from. Museums are truly inspiring spaces. As I look forward to see this place grow and thrive, that great things will be conceived and born out of it. And I humbly say this as someone who has been advocating for science, technology, and innovation, and attempting to educate and inspire the next generation of Ethiopians for the past 10 plus years. It has always been my deepest desire and dream to see such a grand science and technology museum in our great nation. Well, that dream is now a reality. And for that, and for that, I would like to kindly recognize the person who made this happen on behalf of so many young people who will be inspired to invent and innovate after vis visiting this museum and seeing what's on display. Your Excellency Prime Minister Abi, Thank you so much for making this possible. Your vision and determination to transform Ethiopia with science and technology is relentless. And this museum is a testament for your dedication and commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say a few things about the two-day AI conference. We titled it Pan-African AI, meaning Pan-African Conference on AI with the slogan, Empowering Africa Through AI. To make it a truly Pan-African conference, and our ambition is to grow it every year and make it the biggest AI gathering annually in our continent. The conference will feature keynote remarks, panel discussions, scientific paper presentations, and an amazing exhibition. The conference will serve as a platform to discuss African strategies to our sustainable development, to harnessing AI, exchanging cutting-edge knowledge and applications used across several sectors, such as agriculture, healthcare, finance, service industries, geographic information system, and manufacturing, as well as cybersecurity. In the morning session, we have a remark by our guest of honor, as well as presentation by several speakers. And in the afternoon, we will have a great panel discussion titled, Impact of AI for African Sustainment Development. The conference is hosted by Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute. The institute was founded just two years ago. It has conducted several impactful research and development work in various sectors, such as healthcare, agriculture, finance, education, and published its finding over 10 scientific journals on a global platforms. <clears throat> when Prime Minister Abiy officially launched his AI initiative back in 2020, he said, and I quote, by focusing human interaction on several studies, AI is the ability to optimize computerized machines for real solutions using special technology practices. We do not want to cultivate a generation that only observes and adopts the world's industrial revolution from a distance, end of quote. Today, Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute is doing exactly that, and you will witness some of the works when you visit the exhibition later. I would also like to mention that the museum that you see outside will be open to the public for the next several weeks. It will showcase the works of public and government organizations like ETO Telecom, Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute, and INSA, several startups, academic institutions, as well as local and international private companies will display their works as well. And for that, a very, very special thanks to ETO Telecom and its management for making this museum so beautiful for its inauguration 
and making our AI conference a reality. Please give it your telecom round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to draw your attention to the screen to watch a short video. Thank you. The story we are going to tell you is about an institution that is just three years old, but has grown a lot in that time. The Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute. It is true that the results of the fourth industrial revolution, such as artificial intelligence, are more important for developing countries than for developed countries. Realizing that artificial intelligence can perform miracles in countries with insufficient infrastructure and expertise, the Ethiopian government has shown its commitment to progress by establishing an artificial intelligence institute at a national level. This is our country's effort to modernize various sectors to create a favorable environment for artificial intelligence research. For this purpose, the Institute has built a state-of-the-art data center with a storage capacity to 831 PB and 13,000 computation resources and completed other infrastructures that are helpful for holistic artificial intelligence initiatives. Since being founded in 2020, the Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute's multidisciplinary research teams have been collaborating to develop intelligence systems in areas such as health, finance, transportation, agriculture, and education. Disease detection and treatment, understanding language, and smart city solutions are the focus areas that the research teams are working on to bring better and modern solutions. For example, breast cancer is a deadly disease that many Ethiopians die from due to the insufficient expertise in the field. The AI developed by the Institute enables early detection of breast cancer, making it possible for patients to receive early treatment. And for diabetes, the AI that will be used after the research is completed will allow for the detection of the disease and allow patients countrywide to get treatment from wherever they are, even with a shortage of trained medical professionals in the field. Sector is benefiting from the results of the Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute's research are agriculture, health, finance, and national security. Besides, the Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute is committed in capacity building, where the Institute has launched a PhD program in artificial intelligence in collaboration with Adama Science and Technology University this year. Although we have achieved a lot in this short period, we are just getting started. Our projects are building tomorrow's intelligence systems today, translating industrial requirements into deployable AI. In years to come, we expect this investment to yield fruits for the economic prosperity of our country and quality of life of our people.